Mages tune, Mages tune. Welcome back. Welcome back. Mages here. Got updates. Got update today. The kid, Enar's little nephew, he came by. Enar's one of my boys from Pro Lock Crew. His nephew's fully grown now. He's driving Hondas too. He sold me the rims. And then he said he was going to come by today and drop off the engine for 60 bucks. I, I couldn't believe he wanted only 60 bucks, but. It does have a little knock in it, so I gotta do open it up and take it apart. See what's up. See if it's worth fixing it. More than likely, if the if the cylinders didn't get messed up, I'm just gonna build this engine. I also got a engine stand so I could put the block on there, take it apart, pistons out, curdle out, take all that stuff out, take the engine apart. So I can uh, have it somewhere where I can work on it, get better parts for it, change the pistons. Actually, uh, it'll be the first first time that I'll be like physically physically rebuilding an engine from the from the start. So this engine is is gonna get rebuilt with um, some good bearings, racing bearings, uh, Vitara pistons, the rods, the head if it's okay. It's machine shop, double check everything, dual valve springs, uh, dual valve springs, uh, retainers, um, titanium valves probably. I saw them for like 180 bucks, so that's not too bad. I get some valves, some dual spring valve springs that are red line. I could probably take the red line all the way to eight, seven, eight, eight thousand, seventy five hundred probably safely still boosting probably so I'll work on that I'll try to build the head a little bit so I can hold a little power I'm trying to get the hookup right now with um with a machine shop one of my friends knows a machine shop one of the shops that I deal with knows a good machine shop that is his friend so I'm seeing I'll tell him how much he'll do like a port and polish and a file job and all that shit see how much that all that stuff costs so see if I get a good deal if I get a good deal or I'll tell him about the channel and then you know they can hook me up and I'll, and I'll say the shop and all that stuff, all the good stuff. I don't know, you never know. But uh, he came through with the engine. It looks okay. It didn't have the valve cover. I had a valve cover, extra valve cover here with an extra head that I have. Uh, but that head is missing a couple of things. It's missing one of the one of the rocker assembly arms. It's missing so. And it's missing the Vitae solenoid. This one actually has the Vitae solenoid there, so so good, so gravy. This looks pretty good overall. Looks like it has no spark plugs in there, so we took the spark plugs out. So I'll take the engine apart and I'll see what happens. Um, can't wait to put the rims on. I gotta order the tires though, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit on the tires. My tires are still good, so. I'm having a week off, and um, I gotta work this week out. Of, I work one more week at my job, and then I'm gonna have a week off to work on the Honda. To chill with my boy Scotty. Scotty. I'm gonna chill with my boy Scotty, my best little friend. He's always there with me underneath cars. When I'm working on my car, he's underneath the car. He cries. He cries. And whines like a little bitch if I don't put him underneath the car with me. Just he likes to be around me, I guess. Oh well. Well, I'll, I'll start taking the engine apart a little bit, little, so it can be a little lighter, and I can put it, slap it on the engine stand. But um, kind of bored tonight, so I'm gonna go outside and install new speakers in the front of the Honda, and um, call it a night. But major soon, quick update. Got the, got more spare parts. I got so many, so many spare parts. So many spare parts. That uh, it's crazy. I I, I did go to Home Depot too today. Right now, I went to Home Depot and I got my stuff. I got some plastic dip. I buy the plastic dip concentrated, concentrated form. Not in cans, I don't use cans really. Only for rims I use cans. And then this is the mixture that I use. 
Yeah. I've been using for a while now. VMP and ceiling, ceiling. Both of these, whatever, however you pronounce it, I know I probably said it wrong. Uh, I'm Spanish. I, I pronounce things wrong a lot. But uh, basically, I bought a gallon of this stuff, half a gallon of each. And then that gallon of half of each, I'm going to mix with one gallon of concentrated plastic dip. Basically around, I got four, four of those things there. Those are 14.5 ounces each. So around nine of those, eight, almost nine of them equals um, a gallon of plastic dip. So I got to get five more. I'm going to get three more yellow and two blue or vice versa. So I'm going to mix all that together with a graphite clear coat. I'm not going to clear coat the car. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mix the clear coat with my paint. And then I'm going to add the green that I have. I have the I call it Martian green. It's like an army green. I'll show you guys my scooter. Actually, I'm going to show you my scooter now. So you guys can see the the green color. It look cool in the nighttime. Yeah. I still got projects. So this is the green. And this is the green of the bike. On my scooter. The plastic tip is going to be around that green with a little dark to it because the black is going to make it dark the yellow is going to bring it out the blue is going to make it greener and then the graphite in my mind my thinking is going to be like it's going to be like an amplifier tool of a gray it's going to give it that shininess but at the same time it's going to lighten up the color so instead of applying it on top like it's supposed to be you're supposed to apply the clear the graphite clear on top of black or gray to make, to make a unique color, I'm gonna mix it with my paint. See what happens because, um, like I said, plastic dip. If you see the videos of the scooter, the scooter has been plastic dip for almost a year, probably like a year and a half. And right there is the original color of the scooter, and that's the only spots where it's really damaged the plastic dip. Other than that, you can see. Hasn't really peeled anywhere. Hasn't peeled anywhere in here. Hasn't really peeled anywhere. Except right there. So I tried to um I was sticking something here because something the the thing that holds the little can thing here broke, so I was trying to rig a little cover for this so water won't go down and rust rust the shit out of my bike. But yeah, that's the same gold that I have inside the, the Honda. It's gold, greenish, whatever kind of the light hits it, makes it. Hey, this is this one of my projects. I bought this scooter for 260 bucks. And it's a, it is a 2016. I bought it with like a thousand miles thousand kilometers and then the kid sold it to me because the kid couldn't get it running he couldn't get it running it used to run for like two minutes and then it was shut off it was shut off by itself so he didn't know what to do with it I hit him up on I think it was Facebook and I went to his crib and BAM he dropped it off to me so Major tune, stay tuned. <clears throat> Major tune, stay tuned. Got a lot of stuff coming. A lot of ideas that I want to put out there. A lot of little things that I'm gonna do, like plastic dip, weird color, whatever comes out. Uh, the engine itself, I'm gonna try to build it, take it apart first. Maybe I'll do a couple of videos. I don't really like doing videos when I'm taking stuff apart. Just, just kind of makes me um. I don't know. I never really done it, so I'll try. I'm gonna have to just stand, so probably make it a little easier. I gotta get a tripod for the camera. I'm ordering a camera too, guys, so bear with me. This is just for now. I'm buying stuff to do this more often, I guess. Because I don't really have any camera. I don't really. My brother's more the camera guy. But uh, stay tuned, Major's tuned. 
like, hate, explain, tell me, whatever. I'm here. I'm listening. I got nothing else to do. Working harder than working my job out of zone. All right. Stay tuned. Make you soon. Later.